the victim of this, you log on to your email and there are hundreds and hundreds of spam messages in your inbox. Yeah, being spammed, I mean, it really, it's, it's so annoying, but so, there's also an environmental impact as well. Sasha Herriman has looked into this. Sasha, yeah. just how bad is it? It's very bad, but I'll tell you more than that. I mean, you know, <laughs> I promise. Don't leave it there. All right, <laughs> thanks. I won't leave it hanging. No. I mean, you, you've heard about kind of cyber criminals, hacking, yeah. uh, spamming, all this kind of, all, all the bad stuff that's out there. So that's all fa fairly familiar, but there is actually a new bugbear. This is the whole environmental impact. You could call it kind of jumping on the bandwagon. But there are some interesting facts and figures, so I'll, I'll tell, tell everybody about this. It's quite interesting. The new bugbear out there, this was found out uh, by McAfee. This is uh, the uh, online uh, security company. They did a study and they looked at the, uh, the environmental impact overall of spamming. So here are some interesting facts and figures for you to look at. Now, uh, emails sent in 2008, 62 trillion of those that were actually sent uh, were actually unwanted emails. That's an awful lot that were actually spam. Now, 97%, and that actually boils down to, this is from a separate study, so not the one done by McAfee, 97% are actually unwanted. That's a massive amount of emails that are actually not actually wanted uh, out there that are actually termed as spam. Let's move on to this uh, next screen down here. So, spam CO2, um, what's it like? Well, it's basically the equivalent of 3.1 million extra cars uh, on the road out there using that uh, amount of energy. So, you can see uh, why some environmentalists are kind of getting concerned and saying we do need to assess this environment impact. Also, they're, they're terming it in terms of the, the, the amount of energy to run a small city or, or let's say a city sort of roughly the size of the, the city of London, the central area of London. So again, that, that, that actually impacts, it makes, uh, it talks about an awful lot of energy being used just, to, just when we're talking about spam itself. Now think of course uh, about uh, the cost of business when they're actually having to deal with this spam and that, that is a, a huge amount of money for small businesses. Think about the employee time energy uh, that you at home have to, you know, when you're sitting in your office, when you're sitting at home having to get rid of that spam, that's an awful lot. Now let's move on to the next screen down here. So who are the worst offenders? Well, there may not be any uh, real surprises here. The worst uh, offenders are the USA, China and India, but also hot on the heels uh, of those countries as well. We've got uh, the UK and Germany. Uh, those are, are in joint fourth place. So some pretty significant offenders there. So it, it's quite, quite a significant problem. Uh, each specific spam uses 0.3 grams of energy, if you can remember that. But you know, they're, they're sort of talking very, very specific numbers here trying to get people to get the idea that actually don't send out that spam mail, don't send that unwanted email, because it creates a big problem for you and me and for offices. Yeah, I think, I mean, it's great information there. I think we're all surprised by the, the, the environmental impact, and we all find them annoying, as we've been saying. But it's been annoying for ages. Is anything really being done to stop it? Uh, there's an awful lot being done to stop it. I mean, you've got, you've got companies uh, like the one that did this study, so McAfee, they're out there sort of trying to sort of get, get an online software out there to prevent it, to try and uh, stop this stuff actually getting into your inbox in, in the first place. As far as you, you personally, what can you do? I guess you could put a, put a plant next to your computer, couldn't you? Because that would eat up some of the <laughs> CO2. I mean, just breathing, I mean, we're generating CO2, so that's quite bad. We should stop breathing, perhaps. You should bring me a plant tomorrow. Bring a plant oh, in, put it on the Thanks desk, on. and yeah. that'll solve yeah. the problem. No, but companies are doing an awful lot. Now, I spoke to a couple of analysts about... Uh, about what companies are doing generally and also about how significant the problem is. So let's see what they had to say. And often spam can be perhaps a silent killer for some businesses, especially a small business, where they have to continually invest more money in terms of upgrading hardware to deal with the continual influx of spam. So a small company that may have, say, 200 employees may be bombarded with millions of spam messages every day for email addresses that just don't exist and they can never be delivered because they're made up. It's just a few email messages in your inbox every day, but there are literally billions of people who have email accounts in the world, billions of email accounts, uh, and there are, we've calculated something like 60 trillion, 60,000 billion uh, spam messages per year floating around. So, as you can see, I mean, it's, it's an awful lot of spam which is out there, which is causing a problem for companies, for people at home. Uh, but I should tell, tell you guys, you know, it's, it's also quite important to remember that by and large, a lot of this spamming, it isn't actually uh, illegal as such, and that actually presents a, a bit of a problem when people are trying to actually deal with it. How do they actually, uh, you know, get to grips with the problem? And what uh, many people are saying, many analysts are saying, including those I spoke to, uh, they're saying that you need international, like everybody gets together to try and work out how to deal with the problem. Okay, thanks a lot. Okay. Some good perspective from you. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
We are uh, going to our weather forecast right now with Kevin Corvo. Kevin, how much spam do you get? I get a lot. Actually, I, I spend time at home before I even get to work deleting it out of my inbox. So, yeah. And then you get sometimes the... Uh, you just, you, sometimes you just don't get key pieces of information. Yeah, to be honest, want. Kevin, the reason I never respond to any of your emails... <laughs>